I'm pleased you started with uh, a success story. <laughs> we have been re-engineering all the time. WTIS started as um, the World Telecommunications Indicators Meeting. It graduated two years ago to become a symposium, uh, owing to its success. This year we had over 600 participants, two deputy prime ministers, and over 15, uh, above 15, the number of uh, ministers who were present. We had CEOs and uh, we had a great time. This report is a key report of ITU and the world in general. You know it's a very authoritative report, well respected and well anticipated. The report is used by many development agencies, member states and also the private sector. So it is a key report because we are trying to keep track uh, of the developments in the ICT sector, telecommunication sector in terms of infrastructure, the use of that infrastructure, the skill sets and the need to build capacity. So it is a highly anticipated uh, report. This year we carried out the usual analysis and our findings indicate that uh, we still have a lot of work to do to bridge the gap between the 48 world least developed countries and the rest of the world. There are some of them that have made great progress and others indicate that they are still uh, struggling a little bit to catch up. And as new services evolve and are introduced like big data, the Internet of Things, machine to machine communication, naturally um, some countries play catch up. But we are very pleased with the progress that we have seen across the globe. ICT measurement is very important because we believe telecommunications as well as information and communication technologies play a critical role in driving the socio-economic development of countries. In fact, we are in, a, in an era which I call the measuring everything era. So you may call it MEE because if when you go now we have got the Convention of Parties Conference on Climate Change, uh, they are also developing indicators so that we measure and see what progress we are making in terms of uh, greenhouse gas emissions. When you look at the just ended conference on small island developing states that took place in Samoa, there are clear uh, indicators that we have to abide by and clear targets that we have to achieve. If you look at, uh, we were here in Japan in Sendai in March, 14 to 18 March this year, and uh, at the World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction. We are busy and are in the forefront of developing specific indicators so that we can measure the progress that countries are making, not only countries but also humanitarian actors. And uh, as you all know, the whole world now is embarking on a results-based management to develop key performance indicators so that we can keep track on what we are doing and also see where the gaps are and address those gaps so that the whole world is access. We believe in uh, inclusivity and uh, universal access.